tens of thousands of Canadians work in the oil sands. Some live in Fort McMurray, and others commute from cities all over Canada and stay in work camps. Here are three different perspectives on what it's like to have a family member who works in the oil sands. The Tripp family, with three kids who have grown up with a father who has always been gone. I guess it's kind of like being a single parent with two paychecks, is way, the way I envision it. Because, you know, your partner's gone a lot. The Frieden family, with a father who works six days on, six days off. It's more or less like the only way that you can describe it is when I'm gone, she's a single mother. Like she's, she's a single working mother, full-time working mother is what she is. And Lindsay Moore, a 28-year-old woman who worked for six months up in the oil sands. The longest shift I did was 45 days straight. I mean, a lot of people, this is their livelihood, right? They, this is the way they live their life. It's, it's, it's a lifestyle choice for sure. It's pretty tough, right? It's not uh, an easy situation. So they can't help you with the day-to-day -day stuff. Um, you know, obviously he's always there to help me with uh, the mental things or, or for some certain big decisions, but, you know, basically it, it was like raising kids alone. You know, it's on weekends and whatnot when he leaves that I find re really difficult because you definitely sense that void because weekends he should be with us. And... You definitely get a separation out there from your regular, normal life regular everyday things that you do. I actually think it was probably a lot harder on Stan than it was on me, right? I mean, sure, I was run off my feet and, and exhausted and ragged, but I had my children, right? I had my friends, I have family. He doesn't have anybody, right? So I think it's way harder for him because he misses out on everything. I don't think it's that you're trying to give them something they didn't have. You're just trying to compress so much into the time that you do have, that's all. I'm like, well, you know, I, I haven't seen you guys, especially when I'm coming off an 18-day stretch when I stay up for overtime. It's like, well, I haven't seen them in 18 days. I haven't seen you in 18 days. What if we just kept them up a little bit later tonight and then I'd give them a little bit of candy, which their mother never does that, uh, maybe a little bit more sugar than I possibly should be given, and I'll go shopping and bring them home nothing but toys and all that kind of stuff. And then he'd come home for two weeks. Well, he hasn't seen them for six weeks. So is he going to keep the schedule? No. Is he going to discipline them? No. <laughs> oh, you guys want to eat ice cream and cake at <laughs> 9 o'clock at night? Let's do it. <laughs> you, know, you know, and so the schedules would just get all messed up, and the kids would get spoiled rotten, and then he would leave. And I'm like, so it would take me three weeks to, to get them back under control and back into a routine. And three weeks, later, three weeks later, he'd come back and do it again. And I'm just like, oh, my God. So now, of course, when I leave again, she's got to try to restructure that because uh, Riley one day, she said too, Mommy, can I, can I have this toy? And she said, well, no. And she said, okay, well, then uh, Daddy will buy it for me. <laughs> so just stuff like that where I kind of upset the apple cart. It didn't yeah. matter that he wasn't there. I knew I had one. And I knew he cared. He just wasn't there at that point in time. That's fine. Yeah. You know, he's mm -hmm. off making money so we can live. I don't mind that he's not there. I know he would be there, I know he'd be happy to be there, but he's not and that's fine. When dad came home, it was sort of like a... Uh, a treat. It's a treat, yeah. It's, just, it's a nice surprise. Never got tired of seeing him. He was always came home and you're like, yay, daddy's home. So you kind of value him a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah. Maybe that you don't take yeah. him for granted? To, yeah, no, for sure. You don't take your mum for granted though, just because she's... Yeah, 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 yeah we, we do. do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we ran over her a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, like two for me. I'm just chop liver. I'm just the disciplinarian. I'm the, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I'm proud to be able to say that I work for the oil sands. I absolutely love it. And that's another thing, too, why I'm doing the commute, that it doesn't, it doesn't bother me so much because I love doing what I do. I, that's why I came home. I missed, I missed being here. I missed my I missed my roommates, I missed my you know, my family and I missed Kevin and I missed myself mostly. And uh that was the one thing that we had agreed on together was, you know, if you lose sight of yourself, then it's time to come home. Okay. Like it, it plays a toll on you after a while, right? But I mean we're we're making it work because this is this is our lifestyle. This is this is what we've chosen for each other, right? And for our family. So so we, we, we make it work. It's not an easy thing, but we make it work.